Ryan Dreyfus here with Mouthpiece Sports, and I'm joined with Chester Frazier, uh, guard of the University of Illinois Fighting Illini. And Chester, you guys are off to an awesome start this season and in the Big Ten. After going through what you guys went through last year, is this is it kind of a surprise for you? Um, not really for me. I you know we all believed, uh, but a uh, surprise for outsiders. You know, we, we had a goal coming into this year, and uh, that's the improved one last year. What were some of the team goals coming into this season that Coach talked about You know, during the offseason? Well, we wanted to, uh, we wanted to win out in uh, non-conference. We lost one. You know, um, Clemson beat us a, a tough game at home, uh, and they just wanted to just, uh, win our home games and, and try and steal a few in a row. And I think we've done that so far. And personally, uh, I'm sure you set some goals for yourselves. What were some of those? Um, wanted to uh, obviously win uh, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, that was one of my goals. Feel like I had a better shot to win a sophomore year, but I mean things are coming along nicely, nicely right now. And speaking of that defensive player of the year, you have the task of always guarding the opponent's main guy coming in, but you're also offensively you're dishing out five assists a game, leading the Big Ten. How do you keep that energy offensively and defensively and just mentally? Um, I'm in great shape right now. Uh, this past summer, I spent spent a lot of time in the weight room with our strength coach. Uh, I didn't go home for the summer. I, I'm trying to eat right. Uh, Eating a lot of salads and grilled vegetable, gr grilled uh, grilled chicken and, and vegetables right now. So I'm just I'm lean. I'm in shape, and it's just a will to win, man. I just want to go out with a blast in my senior season. And it's uh, not that very often that you see on a Division One basketball team that the seventh highest scorer is one of the most respected players on the team. How, what what does that feel to have the respect and love of your teammates? I mean, um, they look up to me. You know, um, a lot of a lot of them call me Coach Frazier, but. Uh, just, just, I just gotta let them know what it takes to win. I think some of them don't, still don't know what it takes to win at this level. You know, uh, we have a lot of sophomores that they are pretty much a, a big part of our offense right now, a big part of our team, and uh, they gotta bring it night in and night out. I'm, I'm just one of the small pieces of the puzzle right now. That I'm, they're, I'm riding their wave, riding on their back, but uh, they are also riding my wave. You know, especially on defense. You're known as the prankster on the team. Nah, that's not me, man. But nah, some you've been known some, to pull, pull a couple tricks. I, I, pull, I got a few tricks up my sleeves, you know. Um, I do different things to my teammates. Uh, uh, I take their cell phones. I, I erased all their contacts. I think uh, I think I tied his shoes in knots before practice one one time. I, I did Rich Summerall shoes. Uh, somebody wears like a beat up pair of shoes. I will take them and I hang them up. I tie them in a bunch of knots so they can't wear them again. Uh, Man, I, I do a lot of stuff, man. I take I take the screws out. Of, I took the screws out of somebody's stool when they sat down. It, it, they they fell. I do a lot of stuff, man. Nobody gets me back though. Nobody ever got me back. So you know, another good one is take take their cell phone and translate it to Portuguese and then set a lock code on it. Try it out. <laughs>